Caddis Maximus here, this time with the generic no-name Eric Hell uh, EMI, they call it an EMF tester. So this is a generic, uh, both magnetic field, radio frequency, and general electromagnetic interference. It measures, or it, I should say, it displays radio frequency and milliwatts for uh, meter squared, milliwatts per meter of distance. It displays uh, general EMI electromagnetic interference in millivolts per meter squared, as well as AC magnetic fields. I did take this as a promo item. No, I don't think it's the best. One of the things I was noticing going through the manual is that there isn't a, there's a way to zero it, but there isn't a hard way to actually calibrate it, which is rather unfortunate kind of demonstrates the issue with it even though it's kind of expensive on amazon it's 80 bucks and i think they're just trying to get people because you know certified professional radio frequency and emi portable meters are several hundred dollars but they are certified this one you know i said why not because i don't have i have kind of basic ones but nothing that's handheld that will do radio frequency. This does have a neat screen on it. It does have an ability to do kind of real-time graphing. And as far as the general modes are concerned, we can see that it's kind of going crazy here. It periodically shoots up and then goes down. But that's, if we get real close to the phone here, it's actually the phone communicating. I was actually surprised that supposedly if we look here, has there's our electric field, our magnetic field, which they don't. It does display micro teslas, but it does milli gauss instead. Radio frequency, that's the range. Now the EMI is up to 3.5 gigahertz, and the radio frequency is supposedly up to 10 gigahertz. So pretty much uh, everything under the sun, to tell you the truth. So we can see it kind of going crazy there. And then it drops off, and that's actually, uh, I mean, I know that even though it may not be accurate, at least is detecting what it's supposedly detecting. These pulses here is because I'm recording this video with my phone, and that's the phone periodically uh, transferring information. And so as soon as it starts transferring information, it boosts the, uh, the phone boosts its antenna output, and it causes the meter to spike here. If we get it really close, we can see does increase so I know at least it supposedly works you can at least zero it you can do average min max you know what's hilarious is on the website on Amazon they have it for they even advertise ghost detecting which kind of tells you the uh, market that they're targeting with this at least to a degree nothing against people who believe in the afterlife or the paranormal but they have a what should be a test and measurement equipment advertising its use for uh, paranormal and act type of activities uh, is just a little bit strange. That's all I can say about that. We can change it moves over to the this is the they say electric, but this is just the EMI interference, and then it defaults to micro Tesla, but we can change that to milli Gauss now. Uh, the modes do work, surprisingly enough. It's just that it's accuracy. Now, I have this is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, repeater. And, I mean, it does pick up the signal. It's just, I wouldn't say super sensitive. And that's kind of the issue with this thing is if I pull away, I mean, I'm about six inches away, and it's barely picking up any signal at all off of this. I pretty much have to be right next to it. I mean, the, what this might be good for is detecting if you have an air tag or something like that, but it doesn't have a glitch mode, a mode where it'll just uh, automatically record at the specific m moment. I guess it does have a peak, but the graphing function disappears. It's really fast. We have color bars, but the graph bars themselves don't change colors, which I think is kind of strange. Coming over here to a light switch that's active, if we change the modes, 
to electric, it actually does its thing. If we pull away from it or away from anything, to tell you the truth, I have a lot of electric interference over here, apparently. This must be the wires and the walls. It can help you relatively trace the wires, but we get real close, whoops, get real close to this electrical outlet, and it is picking out up. I just, you know, can't really trust the numbers. And the final mode, which is magnetic field, AC only, not permanent magnets. Here we have absolutely no magnetic field, and I'll turn on this mag drill, the magnet of this mag drill, and we can see it is picking up. Magnetic field is actually pretty com concentrated and directed in this mag drill, but as we get closer, we can see that it is picking up uh, an AC magnetic field. And I think that's kind of interesting how it does, uh, it has that additional feature, and it does actually zero out and doesn't get confused by its RF circuits or anything like that, um, which is kind of handy, I guess. You know, to determine if you have electromagnetism. One of the odd things I was noticing is you can do things like on this Amazon Echo Show 10 Gen 3, if I put it right here, we actually get some uh, a pickup of a degree of magnetic field, which I think is a little bit odd. So that's the deal. It seems to work. I don't think it's in the internal antennas are very good in the unit, and that's why the readings are kind of hard to basically trust hate to disrespect them so much but uh, that's basically what I got it for was this to tell if something is or is not actually emitting radio waves or electromagnetic waves I wasn't expecting this to be you know a fully cal you know certified piece of scientific equipment but let's take a look inside and that's what some of the comments I was seeing online is that people's People who knew about these things, really, you know, engineers were like, that's basically what it's good for is the fact that it has a nice screen on it. It's rechargeable. It will tell you whether something's emitting it. And, and it, I don't know about the higher frequencies, but, um, but the literal numbers that it's telling you uh, are a bit suspect because... People are talking about using testing against truly certified equipment, and this thing was sometimes reading 10 times lower than an actual certified piece of equipment. We'll go ahead and pop this open here. Per typical Chinese, it's I guess Chinese rip off so many rip off each other so much. This chip has actually been ablated via a laser. And I can still just make out a word on top here. It's really kind of hard to see. But it says Mation, M-A-T-I-O-N, or Motion, M-O-T-I-O-N. And maybe Notion, N-O-T-I-O-N. But really hate it when they ablade the chips. And so how they're attempting to do the EMI. So this big inductor here is, I believe, how they're measuring the magnetic field. We have a big plate up in front which is I believe how they're measuring the electromagnetic field just EMI interference and then we have this little piece of wire here which is I believe how they're measuring the uh, radio frequency and for such a large case they could put a much bigger battery into it one thing I will mention is that if the Wi-Fi antenna is vertical and you hold it horizontal then it's basically you're looking at the edge along the edge and it doesn't actually get a very good reading. What I found is if I hold it to that same like Wi-Fi repeater, if I hold it absolutely vertical, it got a much higher reading. So that is something to keep in mind since the RF antenna is just that little vertical piece there that uh, you may want to try your readings both vertical and horizontal. So at least I'll uh, mention that. And at least it's rechargeable, so it's easy to deal with. Use a little pouch cell. It's pretty easy to replace if it dies. And uh, if you really need one of these for work, where you need it to really be certified and have much better antennas, then I'd recommend you buy a professional unit. As far as this one, it seems pretty neat. 
Uh, it's a bit expensive. They're charging this premium for this display. I did want to mention they call it an electro smog meter. They're charging more of a premium for this nice little display on this unit. And, you know, it works. They're not lying. It does detect those signals. It's just, once again, it would sure be nice if it actually had a true calibration mode. That way, if you had the opportunity to use it next to a truly calibrated and certified um, piece of equipment, radio frequency receiver or a spectrum analyzer or something like that, then at least you could attempt to bring it in to close to the spec. Otherwise, uh, it's just kind of to help tell you whether or not it exists and may maybe home in and it just is unfortunate you do have to be pretty darn close to the equipment to even get it to register at all anyway sorry to saddle you with a uh, cheesy video like this but I just kind of wanted one of these to fiddle around with appreciate everybody who's been watching please subscribe see you next time